Happy New Year! It is... Okay, don't freak out. It's 4.43 a.m. January 1st, 2013. Um, you might be wondering why I'm up so early or didn't sleep. Um, so there's this event for this game and I had to... It's from 3 to 5 a.m. for my time. So I was like, okay, I'll just put one later. And I was like, but that's dumb. Because I had to get up at 8 a.m. today to help out with something. So I slept at 8 p.m., woke up at 2.30, woke up at 2.50, um, and then I've been just hanging out since. Um, I started with Quran, and then, uh, now it's 4.44 a.m., uh, so it's 3.44 p.m. over there in Michigan, where it's New Year's Eve, um, and pretty much I'm in the lobby right now, so everyone can hear me if they're awake. The lobby. Wow, that looks really creepy. Um. Yeah, I shouldn't have to speak too loud because it's a door right next to me as well. But happy New Year. Um. Let's see. Uh, Skyping with Han. Han, thank you for Skyping with me. Uh, even though it's really late my time, earlier time. Um. It made me. It was bittersweet. Because whenever someone's on vacation and at least take someone, for me it was like, you know, it was really nice, but at the same time, you know, I missed you guys more. Um, just the fact that it was like, I found that Harlem Jump Play Pool fill up, so I feel I want to be, I want to play pool as well, you know. <laughs> uh, so Happy New Year, it is 2000. We survived December 21st. Oh my god. Um, funny story. Oh, I can't see the story anymore because it's on YouTube. Whatever. I'll just do another story. Um, some reason I want to mention that I forgot to mention other videos. So, that's the, uh, there's another little kid named Robert in the house of Blessing. Uh, he's a little kid that's a genius. I said it was a fucking genius. Okay, maybe not Rob. I forgot his name. Something like that. Robert or Howard, I can't remember. But he's a genius, you know, the one that has the arm like this and it can't really walk. But he speaks really normal. So some people came over, you know, talking to him. And eventually he kept looking at me, like, because I gave him a gift, so I guess he liked me. Um, he, he can talk. It's not like he's like a little baby. He, he can talk. That's why I think he's like such, so smart. But they asked him, like, who are you looking at? And he looked at me and he whispered something. <laughs> and I swear he whispered the word punk, which means fat. And just like, Ah, because I, I was really far away. I was just like across the hall uh, in one of the houses. And then they looked at me and laughed. And then later on, I found out from her, uh, from the woman who's talking to him, uh, that my name for him is Pong Jojo, meaning fat brother, which is an older brother. Uh, it's not really offensive, but it's just more like, oh, thank you. I like how that's how you know me. Uh, Pong Jojo is actually a pretty nice name. I don't, know. I don't find it offensive. Uh, the name, at least in Chinese, it sounds nice in Chinese. Uh, Pong Jojo. <laughs> it's like saying a really big brother in many ways. Um, but it's New Year's right now. I have not ate dinner yet. <laughs> so I fell asleep pretty early, so I probably didn't eat dinner like or really early breakfast at like 5 a.m. Um, but I will be a translator at 8 a.m. to help out with uh, Chrissy. Uh, she's doing some storage things, and sometimes every now and then, uh, when she talks and the other person talks, there's a miscommunication because you know she's the other person's Chinese and Chrissy's American. So there's that um, New Year's resolutions. Um, I was talking to Han about it, and I was like, oh shit, I don't have resolutions. So number one resolution, uh, keep going with Philip to TCC to work out. That's pretty nice. It makes me feel better, more active, which is nice. Um, well, proof it, I was gonna say, yeah, that's nice. Uh, doing the TCC uh, thing with Philip, make sure I keep doing that. Uh, a lot of my videos, I'm wearing this purple hoodie, I just know. A lot of my videos are wearing this, whatever. <laughs> um, and another one is stop freaking out in general. Because sometimes I freak out about, uh, you know, school, friend problems, and just flip out over those. That's why, in case you're wondering from other videos, that's why I'm doing counseling. Um, 
a twit note asks you can't go back to school. <laughs> she actually kicked me out of school until I go to counseling. I'm kind of forced to go to counseling. Um, I literally cannot go to school. I am illegal to go to school now. So I have to get a note from my counselor that says I'm stable, sort of. Honestly, they're treating me like a criminal. I swear. It's like, they kicked me out of school. I'm just like, oh my god, I'm not gonna like bomb the place. Like, why are you kicking me out of school? Anyways, fun story. If you want to know more, just I don't know, talk to me about it. Um, ooh, let's see. Yeah, so those are my two New Year's resolutions. One, keep going with film. It's the every now and then the common lose weight resolution. <laughs> um, and then the other one is to uh, stop freaking out about friends, about problems, about school stress in general. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'll just try my best. Oh yeah, right now this is January. Okay, I'm going to freak out about them because this is my vlog. Just hate, I was caught myself. Uh, I don't know, I'll just think about something else. Be reminded of something else. Perfect. Music helps. Piano helps. So the song, so the song I was playing for Shepard 2 sounded really sad. And then I finally find out, wow, I can make it sound happy. And that's really cool, because I'm just literally sitting there on the piano playing the same melody with different chord structures, meaning I can make it happy or sad. It's really cool to see the difference. Anyways, I just was reminded when I think about school stuff, that the reporter girl, who I don't know the name of, but who's really nice, um, who keeps knocking on my door, who like wakes me up, she's from an IB school. She's from an IB school in New Zealand. I was like, why the fuck did you go to New Zealand? Your parents are in China, and she went to New Zealand, now she's in a Hong Kong school. Okay, get this. She's from an IB school. Her IBs were chemistry, physics, and something, econ, and then she took three HLs, but her total score out of 45 was a 42 IB score. And she got three bonus points for a Senate essay, which she got an A on for doing chemistry, and like her experience sounded really nice. She wanted to see, um, you know how an apple rots and it gets brown? She wanted to see what chemicals will help it not rot as fast. And she found out the perfect chemical for it that totally stopped rotting, um, but it was kind of toxic for humans, so she couldn't like, you know, I was like, that's such a good idea. She got an A on it, meaning plus three points for it. I'm like, oh my god. Then she got a B on TOK and she's like, yeah, I know I got a B. I'm like, dude, I'm probably gonna C, shut up. But she is crazy. Her friends, all of them. She was like, I was like, whoa, that's really rare for you to do 42. She said, no, my friends are doing like 44s, 43s. I'm like, okay, you're one of those girls who just, just hangs out with those really smart people, you know? Um, but her friends are, she keeps saying her friends that goes to MIT, Oxford, she's like, oh, you know, she's not, you know, what's the them. She's like, oh, you know, my friend in Oxford was like, oh, there are three things, sleep, friends, or uh, school, you pick two. I'm just like, whoa, wait, wait, wait hold up there. Your friend in Oxford, like, your friend at MIT, like, is there Harvard in there anywhere? Like, holy cow. But you know, she's, because she was asking me what school I goes, I'm just like, Oh, it's an international school, like International Baccalaureate, and then she flipped out, and I like, flipped out. She's like, yeah, what do you think I meant when I said my school is different, it's a two-year program. I'm like, oh, right, IB is a two-year program. It's high school, but the first two years are like prep, and the next two years are actually IB. So that was really nice. She's really nice. I love eating lunch with her. I almost said eating her. <laughs> I love eating lunch. <laughs> I love eating lunch with her. She's really um, nice. Uh, funny thing, yesterday, um, Jamie, Chrissy, and Kayla also ate lunch with us, with me and the reporter girl. And I call it reporter girl now because that's what Grady says. Um, and then for some reason, here's a little note. Whenever you have a table, okay, and there are people sitting around it, and there's a split in the friend group, one group talks more than the other. So it's either me and the reporter talks, and then Jamie, uh, Kayla, and Chrissy just like listen because they don't want to like interrupt us speaking, or they talk, and me and the reporter can't talk, because then it'd be like conflicting uh, conversations, so that was not awkward, but it was interesting, um, also, I finished most of the, I finished the job, I was supposed to do the, the sponsorship gift, gift thing, I did through the houses, and then the last house, the kid only received candy, like very small candy, and uh, a teddy bear, two things, now mind you, be, these gifts can be like, 20 items long, and then the IE, the nanny, has to like write them in Chinese. But this kid only received two of them, and the nanny rejected me. She's like, Oh no, no, come back tomorrow. I'm just like, Are you sure it's only two items? She's like, Yeah, yeah, just come back tomorrow. I'm too busy. I'm like, Dude, it's two items and one picture I have to take. 
let me please <laughs> but she didn't let me um in the end so it's 4 53 a.m i want to play the piano but at the same time they get up pretty early in fact the kids are awake right now oh my god imagine play the piano and then ah oh, fuck whatever um and there's that story. I can't remember there's another. I remember there's two. There was one I forgot to mention, which is the Pond Drifter, which I've mentioned, which is Robert's name for me, or Howard's name for me, I can't remember. Um, oh yeah, I saw Grady again today a lot of times. So, a lot of times for lunch, after lunch, like 12 31 ish, um, I walked around outside to look for him. And today I found out when people were leaving, I was upstairs, right? This is upstairs, the second floor. When someone down to the first floor, I heard Grady's voice. Grady said, Bye to. Tina, who's leaving, and I was like, Is that Grady's voice? I went downstairs, and since my eyes are so bad, I almost walked past him, but he was in the lounge area. And I was just walking, and then all of a sudden he's like, Hey, I'm like, Oh, Grady, hey. Um, and I saw him again afterwards at like 4 3 when I was doing my job. And it's funny because I don't think he knows my name that well, because when I was walking, all of a sudden I just heard, I heard a grunt, I was like, Ugh. And I was like, it was directed towards me like I can tell that it was towards me and it sounded like Grady but I was looking around I was just like I don't see him it must not and I just heard him grunt again and I was like looking towards his direction I see a, guy, a kid in a wheelchair I'm just like is that Grady like I shot Grady and he's like ugh I'm like why are you grunting and it's apparently his way of getting my attention so that's nice um I feel bad whenever I um Whenever I do my job, you know, like the sponsorship gifts, it's like I'm walking around with Grady and just like, and then I'm just like, oh, okay, I have to do this job. He's like, oh, okay, I'll see you later then. I feel bad. Like, I want to talk to him more. I feel like he wants to talk to me more. Um, but I keep like going places and like leaving, so I kind of feel bad. Um, some of the leave is a bit awkward. I'm just like, you should I leave right now? Like, we've been playing ping pong for two hours. Uh, <laughs> but no, it's really nice to play ping pong with them. Um, it's Flipping cold in case you're wondering in the lobby, but I'm here because my laptop needs to be charged. So this is the sacrifice I make. Um, ooh, it's a long video because it's New Year's. So Happy New Year's. It's 2013. I never thought I'd say 2013. Oh, that's why the number is so important. It's the year I graduate. I like how they say. It. I like how I say that. Like I'm a time traveler. Oh, this year's the year I graduate. Oh no, let's get out of this year. Um, you see, that's the face I did on my pictures because I thought it would be good to open my eyes a bit more. Never open my eyes a bit more. My eyes are fine, Kevin. Oh my god. Um, I'm so surprised my lips are not chappy. That's really good and very impressive. Um, also, I will be leaving. Oh, it's today, Tuesday, right? Oh yeah, today, tomorrow, and the day after they'll have school. I miss my friends. I'm gonna hang out with you guys a lot. Cause it's Michigan, you know? And I keep telling the people here, they're like, oh, like, you know, how did you find out about this place? Does this really call me? I'm just like, I should just say it's the first search on Google, because it is. If you, if you type in China Orphans, they have that website, that search name, number one, it's theirs. It's Shepherd's Field when you type in China Orphans. On Google, but um, I keep saying, Oh, my mom can't show me, and then I feel bad because then it's like, Oh, I don't want to be here with my mom, but I do want to be here. Um, anyways, I, I swear to God, my mom tells me in summer to like come to her place in July. I'm gonna be like, Okay, girl, school starts in August, I am not leaving Michigan until the very last day that I can't. I want to be here with you guys. You know, I miss you guys. Um, it's so fun hanging out at the same time, though. It's fun being alone, but not be alone. And what I mean by that is like it's fun to be here, a place that you're alone with. But it's also fun to just have those Skype conversations with those friends, or like to have friends back home. To know that you're not leaving permanently yet. Like in college, like I know you can like talk to the person, but it's not like you're gonna visit the person anytime soon again. Like your high school friends, if you go to a different college. But like right now, I know that in like a few days, I'm gonna come back. So it's not like I'm totally gone from them. It's not like they. Cause like, I feel like when I go to college, it's gonna be like, oh, you kind of, you kind of, open the slot for new friends. And kind of be like, okay, I'm never gonna see this person again. I kind of like, 
put this person in my memory but don't really have it in my friendship slot friendship slot and then you invite new people to those slots but then like the fact that I'm like gonna come back in five days it's like oh you know it's just taking a break which is nice very nice um summer's gonna be different though because summer's that time it's just like oh we're gonna hang out and then it's gonna be like you know and then we have to leave for college um, I keep talking to the the reporter girl about college and she keeps saying things like okay so the first month I was like oh my god party you know I have so much time right just like school's only like two hours long a day and then she was like and then I found out that I started to fail and I was like what why she's like okay you have to pre-study go to the class and then review like for one class because the uh, the teacher just lectures for an hour doesn't even like follow the plan I'm just like oh my god but then I thought to myself she got a 42 she probably is in a top-notch Hong Kong college. Yeah, that's probably just her. But then again, college is like that. I'm just like, the way she describes this sounds like study hell. But then I'm just like, okay, wait a minute. She's one of those, like, she's the 1% in education-wise. Because um, she's so smart. She wants to be a doctor. There you go. Like, I was saying, doctor? Really? Like, even the blood? She's like, yeah, it's so cool to, like, dissect. I'm just like, like, oh my god, like, be a doctor then. Um... So that's nice. She's, she's taking a, a finance degree because before you can do a doctor degree in China, in Hong Kong at least, you have to get any degree of some sort and then you can go to med school, which is weird because for us we do med school and then doctor degree. For her it's any degree and then med school. And then you get your doctor degree in that school. So that's nice. It's really cool out here. Uh, is my laptop charged? 94%. It's always 94%. I swear. So. Man, it's two. It's five a.m. now, uh, meaning that the kids are awake. I think, and people are probably cooking now. We can't play the piano then. Fuck. <laughs> um, I have to see about that. I think some people are actually waking up now, which is weird. I guess right now it's normal. Eight p.m. sleep. Wake up at two thirty. Wait, wait. That's really early. You know, like, um, I miss you guys a lot. Me, the chat, it kind of makes me feel like, uh. There's a bond between me and my Facebook friends, even though most of you won't watch this, so. Other than that, it's nice. Um, I don't know how I can help out the orphans. I want to help out the orphans more. I, I know, I do feel like I'm helping out a lot, but I do want to do a bit more. Just trust the orphans are really nice. You know, like, me saying helping out orphans makes me feel like I'm going to this place every day. I'm like, you know, like giving them milk, you know, but these orphans definitely have a name, he's just trying to do the job for them, so you kind of just kind of walk around and hang out with them, which is still nice, um, oh my god, it's so cold, um, I saw it reported today in the school as well, uh, she was, I was just going to school to, like, take pictures, give the kids the gifts, and then I saw her, there. I was like, oh, she knows the school, and then I saw that guy again, what was his name, Damien, 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 no, shoot, what was his name, Damien, 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 I don't know, it's that guy who was, I said was somewhat handsome, that never came out of my mouth, um, but he, uh, his name was from the Bible, and I was like, man, I saw him in school, and I was like, oh, you're a teacher, like, oh, yeah, but I have to be, for some reason, um, I want to go to school and, like, teach them or something, like, do that, but, like, really nice, all of the teachers are there, but, like, really nice, okay, this video is pretty long, I'm freezing my butt off, I'm gonna go inside and get some dinner, um, breakfast. <laughs> so, alright. Bye guys. Peace. That's a such... I'm never doing that again. Um, actually, I only have four days left. Saturday, I'm leaving on the 6.50 flight AM, meaning I have to be there by like 5.50, 5.30, meaning I have to wake up at like 3.30, get there, be, like, start driving by 4, get there at 5, 30 and then yeah I have a really early flight but then I get to Saturday it's nice because I miss the day coming here but I'm gonna get my day back going there so I'm gonna leave at 6 50 on Saturday I'm gonna be there by 6 50 <laughs> uh, um yeah bye I'm gonna get there at 6 50 some of the week yeah some of the week I'm gonna get, be there by 6 50 uh AM Michigan. So you see, I get there, it's like I never even traveled. It's like that. So it's really nice. Technically, no, never mind. It's going to the International Day Flight. So I was thinking, 
can't you just go around the world and just say always stay on one time because I'm like oh the international time zone would actually make you skip a day as well right wait a minute if you go from China to America you miss 12 hours but you go from America back to no you can literally stay in this time forever oh, wait no okay but I'm missing something here oh okay because the internet oh, okay, right. okay, never mind. Um, anyways. <laughs>